Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 3rd of exercise 9.1. The question says contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park. For the children below the age of 5 years, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meters and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the ground. Whereas for the children, elder children, she wants to have a steep slide at a height of 3 meters and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the ground. What should be the length of the slides in each case? Okay, now there are two cases here. In the first case, she wants to install the slide such that it should be 1.5 meter high from the ground means if this is the ground so it height should be 1.5 meters and it should incline at an angle of 30 degree this means this slide obviously this slide would be like this and this slide should make an angle of 30 degree with this ground this incline means it this slide must make an angle of 30 degree with this ground now you have to find what should be the length of this slide in this first case you have to find this x and again one thing is uh, clear here that this pole must be vertical here on which this slide is placed similarly in the second case what is it is given that now in this case this slide is steep and its height is 3 meter above the ground so again if this is ground its height is 3 meters and again this is inclined at 60 degree again means this slide must make an angle of 60 degree with this ground again this vertical pole should be uh, making an angle of 90 degree with the ground now these are the two cases in this case this height is 1.5 meters in this case the height is 3 meters and in both the cases you have to find the length of this slide now in this first case perpendicular is given to you which is the side opposite to this theta and you have, you have to find this hypotenuse which is side opposite to this 90 degree and for this Obviously, I have the ratio for sin theta because in sin theta it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Sin theta is given to you as 30 degree. Perpendicular is given to you as 1.5 meter and hypotenuse we have to find which is x meters. And we know that the value of sin 30 is 1 by 2 which we have already remembered in the previous chapters which is uh, related to trigonometry where we know what is the value of sine 30 degree now if i cross multiply this the value of x will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1.5 so the value of x will be 2 multiplied by 1.5 is 3 meters so here the length of this slide must be equal to 3 meters similarly in this second case, again you have to find the length of this slide and perpendicular is given to you, hypotenuse you have to find. Again for this also, we will use this ratio for sin theta that is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Sin theta, here the value of theta is given to you as 60 degrees. Perpendicular is equals to 3 meters and hypotenuse you have to find is x meters and the value of sine 60 is root 3 by 2 is equals to 3 upon x now if i cross multiply this this will become x root 3 is equals to 6 this will be 3 into 2 will be 6 the value of x will be 6 upon root 3 so this will be the value of x which is the length of this slide and now I have already discussed 
that whenever there is a under root in the denominator to solve this you have to rationalize this and rationalizing means you have to multiply this root 3 and as well as you have to divide with this root 3 and denominator will be multiplied with the denominator and the numerator will be multiplied with the numerator so numerator when we multiply it will give 6 root 3 and denominator when we multiply root 3 by root 3 will give 3 so this will be 2 and here the value should be 2 root 3 so here the length of this slide must be equal to 2 root 3 meters if you substitute the value of root 3 as 1.73 and you multiply it with 2 you will get your answer in decimals so this is how you can solve this question also i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you